Welcome to How To Fridays. This guide will show you how to detect who deleted a DNS record. Run the Group Policy Management Console. Edit the default domain policy. Navigate to Computer Configuration Policies, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Local Policy, Audit Policy and define the audit directory service access policy to success. Run GP update slash force. Open ADSI edit. Connect to the default naming context. Expand it. Navigate to system. Right click Microsoft DNS, Properties, Security tab, Advanced, Auditing, Add Principal equals everyone, Add Change Type to Success and applies to this object and descendant objects. Select the Write All Properties, Delete, Delete Subtree Permissions, then click OK. Open DNS Manager, right click the zone you want to audit, Properties, Security, Advance, auditing and set up the same settings as before then click OK. Now run the event viewer. Go to Security Log Properties. Define the maximum log size as 1 GB and overwrite events as needed. Now let's delete a DNS record and audit our actions. For example, let's delete the NWX VM1 DNS record. Open Event Viewer again and filter the security log for event ID 46 62. And here we can see that the right action on the NWX VM1 DNS record was performed by administrator. If we don't see this record in our DNS manager, then this DNS record was actually deleted. But it isn't completely deleted from our Active Directory. After the deletion action from our side, it has been moved to the deleted objects OU, which can be reached via the LDP.exe program.